Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a video including some items that I picked up from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. So some quick facts about the sale that goes on at Nordstrom. What it is basically is it's a sale that Nordstrom has, but it's not on old things. It's on new things that are coming out for next season that you get at a reduced price. It's one of my favorite sales ever. The stuff they have is really good. So if you are a Nordstrom card holder from July 12th to July 19th you have early access but honestly in early access so much things like get sold out and they don't replenish them and then for everybody else July 20 oh my gosh it just started storming like really bad it was sunny a minute ago but and then from July 20th to August 5th is when everybody else can shop the sale so I picked up two things from Charlotte Tilbury I know that I just reviewed a product from Charlotte Tilbury but these are two new products that I wanted to review for you guys so the first thing that I picked up is the pretty glowing skin palette and then I also picked up the pretty pink lip set so let's go into these products so I'm going to start off with the pretty glowing skin palette this guy is $75 apparently it has a $153 value so the idea behind this palette is that it is a palette featuring everything you need to look instantly healthy glowing and pretty it features powder contour blush and glow for a head turning complexion obviously that is what I have on my face right now and I do have to say my skin looks rather healthy and glowy so let's start off with the packaging it has the typical rectangular plastic Charlotte Tilbury packaging that basically all of her palettes have she just recently came out with a highlighting palette called the bar of gold palette that I did just review so you should check it out but same concept behind the packaging is my point on the back it has what each product is and then you open it up it reveals a big mirror and then six colors so i'm gonna start off with the top row you have a powder then you have a blush which is called pretty blush then you have a glow powder and then on the second row you have a bronze and contour shade a summer blush shade and another glow shade so here are the swatches that i have for you the first three are from the top row and the bottom row are the last three in these swatches as you can see these powders don't have a ton of pigmentation they're very soft and faint but for a face product, I mean, personally, I don't want mine to be super pigmented. Otherwise, I would look rather crazy. So let's start off with how the first product that you're supposed to use in this palette is. It is just the regular powder. It is the airbrush powder number two, which I actually do have. Yeah, literally do have this, and I love this powder. It's one of my absolute favorites. I will say swatching them side by side, the powder in this product seems to be the ever so slightest bit deeper but i mean so slight they do have the same consistency and i just love the overall finish that it gave me a look so i'm actually very very excited that they put this powder in this product because this is one of my favorite face powders instantly right there i am sold on this palette now the second next to that is the blush in the shade pretty it's just described as a youthful rosy flush i put it on this side of my face and i personally am very into rose pink blushes i'm not really that much of a warm blush kind of girl so i love the blush uh it was pretty pigmented so i think with a brush it did pick up on the brush very well so that's very good for more deeper skin tones and it did blend out like a dream which is good for more fair skin tones so the formula of this blush was really lovely and i love the color let's talk about the other blush also below it that is the summer blush which is a bright coral with a soft sheen i did notice that i definitely did have more of a sheen than the pretty blush and it's i mean it also is very pretty on the cheek and surprisingly they do look different on my face i didn't think they would you can't really tell on camera but i did notice the sheen with the summer blush way more than a sheen with pretty and i did notice that the summer blush was brighter 
So I do think that it is appropriate to have these two blushes in here. I do wish they kind of would have done that cooler, rosier tone and then a warmer tone just for something different. But I do like the two blushes they chose in the formula. They blend out like butter and they look really good. So thumbs up for that. I forgot to talk about the bronzer shade before the blush shades, but I'm just going to go rewind into the bronze and contour shade. Uh, it is a neutral cocoa to tone, slim, sculpt, and define the face. For me personally, this is a really good shade to contour with. It is very neutral toned and it blended out very well. However, like a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products, I feel this does not cater to medium to deep skin tones. It's a very, very light color. Color. didn't do much bronzing by the way but for my personal skin tone it was a beautiful sculptor shade but I mean come on if you have a medium skin tone what are you gonna do with this color it literally is like a, a shade darker than my skin tone so that could be pretty useless to you if you have a medium skin tone so let's move on to the glow shades in this palette there is a more rosy tone and then a more champagne tone one, which is very nice. I like the two different tones depending on the look that you do. And I was worried about these looking at them and swatching them. They didn't seem very nice. They kind of seemed very subtle and natural, which isn't a bad thing, but I just wasn't impressed by them. And then I put them on my face and I must say I'm highly, highly impressed. They're very soft formula much different than the bar of gold formula a little bit less metallic but much softer and there really is a pretty good sheen to them i actually quite like their finish it's very soft on the skin but still super duper glowy and healthy looking does not emphasize the texture on my skin so i surprisingly am super into this highlighter formula and i think i like it more than the bar of gold formula and i liked the bar of gold formula so my overall thoughts on this palette are I genuinely really really enjoy this palette. $75 is a hefty price to pay but this really is a great all-in-one palette. I can see myself traveling with this palette and it just created a really healthy everyday look on my skin that would go with so many different looks. So if you are a Charlotte Tilbury fan and you want to pick up this Nordstrom exclusive palette, I love it. I think it's really great. I'm a Charlotte Tilbury fan, so couldn't help myself. Not super unique, but you're getting good quality, good formula. So it's up to you if you need it. What I like is what you see in the pan is what you get on your face. So that also is something that you don't find a lot with powders. All right, so let's move on to the Pretty in Pink lip set. Pause. I do love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and I do have a swatch video on my favorite nude lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury that I will put in the cards and link down below. And I'm also going to do a second one of pinks very, very soon, so I will link that here in this video once I get to that. So just so you know, I'm very familiar with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick formula. So I got the Pretty Pink Lipstick set. This is $60. It says it has a $90 value, and what you get is one lip liner and two lipsticks, which are exclusive to this collection. So these are not in her normal line of lipsticks. Let's talk about the lip liner first. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. This is not a Nordstrom exclusive, but this is a staple. I already have this and love it. It is a your lips but better kind of color. What I love about Charlotte Tilbury lip liners is they are the perfect combination of soft but still stiff enough that you can really get a line going but you know have enough give to it. So this lip liner is one of the best lip liners ever. It goes with every single lip color and I highly 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 recommend this. Super good and it's amazing that you get it in this set. So let's go over the lipsticks that it came with. So the first one we have here is Blushing Dream. And this is described as a cool feminine rosebud with a satin finish. This is from the Kissing line, which is my favorite line from Charlotte Tilbury. It's very moisturizing on the lips. It has a shiny finish on your lips. And this is a really nice, cool, light 
pink color. I did look through my collection to find if they were similar to anything else in my collection and I thought the closest match that I personally had was Super Cindy but Super Cindy is a little bit more brighter so I would say there is enough of a difference that you could buy this and not feel guilty. So I do really like this color. It is a perfect feminine pink, really wearable, great color, favorite formula from Charlotte Tilbury. And the second lipstick here is Rose Kiss and this is a bit deeper. It's described as a soft warm Merlot with a natural matte finish and natural matte is the perfect way to describe this formula. It is matte, you can tell it's matte, but it's still comfortable. It doesn't dry your lips out. So I do like her matte lipsticks. I love her kissing formula more, but if you're into matte lipsticks, this is a super good formula, so. And this I would definitely describe as a wearable color. This color would go with any look. It adds the perfect amount of color to your lips where you look done but not overdone. And so the colors from my collection that I thought were similar were Stoned Rose and Walk of Shame. Walk of Shame is definitely much more berry. Stoned Rose is, I think, the most similar color. It has more of a terracotta undertone and does have more of a sheen, but a very, very similar color. And then Walk of Shame has that similar color, but is a bit more deeper and berry, but they are very similar. So if you do have those in your collection, you don't need to need this lipstick, but they are different enough. They aren't like exact dupes or anything. But you guys already know, I love her lipsticks and the fact that it also came with my favorite lip liner, probably one of my favorites ever. This set is a steal, I love it. And the best part is, even if you are a lipstick fanatic from Charlotte Tilbury, you probably don't have these colors. So can't wait to have these to my crazy collection. <laughs> all right, so that's all I have for this review for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below any questions you may have, and I will catch you guys later. Bye. Have a great day.